For this video, let's find the successful applicant for 369 Sharky Lane. Clicking into the property, I can see all of the applications that I've received for this property. When a new application is received, it inherits the status new. Clicking into the application and reviewing, then changes the status. And here you'll see Jatin is viewed. In this scenario, Jatin was a great candidate, but not quite right for the property. When clicking the down button, I can then decline the application and easily notify Jatin that he was unsuccessful. He'll then receive an email that lets him know in this property application, he was unfortunately unsuccessful. The email is received under the realestate.com.au branding and sent from your agency name. That decline status is instantaneously sent to AppTracker if I am a customer of IREs. In that way, both platforms show a real-time view of application statuses, irrespective of where that status is updated. For this property, we're going to go ahead and approve Katarina. Again, I select the drop down button and approve this application. And this time I can decline all others with three simple clicks. I email Kat and I email the unsuccessful applicants to let them know of the outcome. And three clicks away from approving Kat for the application. The email will then send to Kat lets her know that she's been successful and that you'll be in touch with her.